Supreme Court ending women's federal abortion rights. Utah, one of 26 states, either moving to ban abortion outright or severely restricting abortion rights. Here in Utah, abortion is now banned in most cases. So if you're a Utah woman seeking an abortion, what can you do? And what does Utah's ban mean for things like birth control and the morning after pill? ABC4's Ali Arulian is live outside of Planned Parenthood in Salt Lake City with some of those answers. Ali. Yeah, Brian, here at Planned Parenthood, they're reminding people that birth control is still legal here in Utah. Now, that includes the morning after pill, IUDs, birth control pills, and more. Along those lines, IVF treatments are still legal here in Utah, and it is legal to go outside of the state to get an abortion. Now, Planned Parenthood is also reminding people that they take all forms of insurance, have contraceptives available, and will still provide care. For the 55 women who scheduled an abortion at their clinics this week, their options are limited. Idaho and Wyoming are the closest states to receive an abortion for people living in northern and central Utah, but both states have an abortion trigger law that will soon take effect. The closest state without a trigger law to receive an abortion is Colorado. The nearest clinic is about a six hour drive away from Salt Lake City. For people living in southern Utah, the closest place to get an abortion is in Nevada, which is about a two hour drive from St. George. Plan Planned Parenthood Utah says they're doing what they can to help women, but receiving an abortion out of state can be time sensitive, lengthy and expensive. And it's not just the distance, it's the time. I mean, all of this is not convenient, appropriate, or welcoming to a lot of people. Recent data shows abortion pills, some mailed to women and taken at home, make up over half of abortion procedures in the U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland says states cannot prohibit the use of FDA-approved abortion pill MIV Pristone, excuse me, to make sure I get that correct. However, that does need a doctor's approval in order to receive that pill. And according to Planned Parenthood here in Utah, under the Utah's now trigger law that is in effect, it is illegal to get that abortion pill by mail. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, I'm Ali Orulian, ABC4 News. Thank you, Ali. Meanwhile, pro-choice pro groups are filing a lawsuit against the state of Utah to block the trigger ban, which is already in effect. The law, which bans abortions in most cases, sparked protests all weekend long. Planned Parenthood and the ACLU of Utah claim the ban violates the Utah state constitution. They argue it protects Utah's rights to bodily autonomy and decide when and whether to have a family. The groups are now asking the court to block that law. Pro-choice protesters say the ruling makes them fear for the future of a woman's health, while anti-abortion rights groups are celebrating. When I woke up this morning personally, I uh, cried, you know. So as a woman here, that directly affects me and my family planning, as well as my health. It was a very emotional day for me. Uh, totally thrilled. We stand with the state. We were behind the legislation when it was passed a couple of years ago, and we stand firmly behind it now. The Utah Attorney General's office hasn't responded to our request for comment.